please welcome and feel our board member from San Antonio, Texas, Lionel Sosa. Hello, good afternoon. You know, any of you that were here on uh, Saturday morning got a chance to hear President Clinton talk about this organization and the inclusive nature of this organization. He really was proud of the fact that NCLR is able and willing to reach out to people of both parties, of people who are out there in, in the neighborhoods and out there in the community, and to say to them, look, if you are out there and if you want to make it better for the Latino, we're in there with you. And they've done a wonderful job, and as a new board member, I am just absolutely so happy to be part of this wonderful, wonderful organization and to uh, be able to introduce my good friend, Carl Rowe. Uh, you also heard President that Carl Rowe was a very, very smart guy. And he is a very smart guy. In fact, he's been called Bush's brain. And I can tell you this, he is not Bush's brain, but he is the brain for dozens of people in uh, Texas and in Washington. And he is a fellow that to a very, very large extent has been responsible for understanding, having, having people understand the importance of Latinos in America and the strength and the power that we bring to this country. There are very few people quite as smart as Karl Rowe and there is nobody quite as sensitive as he is on this issue. And he will talk to you about that today and I am so proud to be his friend and to be able to introduce to you Mr. Carl Rowe. Thank you, Lionel, for that incredibly generous and incredibly inaccurate introduction. Only friends can get away with lives like that. I also want to thank our luncheon host, uh, John Menzer. Uh, John, you know how to throw a nice little lunch for a few friends on short notice. Appreciate you. Enjoyed meeting Monica, your uh, chair, and Janet, your CEO. We spent some quality time back in the green room. I also want to say uh, a special word of greetings to my fellow Texans. I, I must admit I gained a little bit of uh, confidence in your organization's leadership because most national organizations group their members by sort of geography. So like when you go to the national political conventions, you've got the Californians here and the Rhode Islanders there and the Texans there. This organization is smart enough to understand you can't allow that critical mass of Texans to get together so you disperse them throughout the entire audience. It's awfully smart of you. That way you can keep them from getting too unruly. But it's uh, great to be here with so many fellow Texans. You know, um, it's unique about Americans that when we gather in the name of our national or ethnic heritage, we end up celebrating that which makes America so special. You know, even de Tocqueville no remarked more upon this in the 1830s that when Americans got together no to discuss fascists. their or celebrate their heritage and roots that they ended up celebrating the their Americans. The Bush regime and, the and that's because Americans are united by a shared commitment to the values of the American dream. We believe in America as a land of opportunity for every single person. Those who sacrifice to come here and work hard to improve their lives are evidence of that American dream. We believe in the importance of faith and family and community. We believe in the power of education to improve the life of every person, to empower each of us with the tools necessary to achieve our dreams. Abraham Lincoln talked about education as being vital to the right of every American to rise in life. 
We believe in the opportunity of ownership. We believe that every American ought to have an opportunity to own their own home or own their own business. And we believe in a commitment to helping the less fortunate, not just simply through the actions of a benevolent government, but more importantly through a dizzying array of community and faith-based organizations. I want to thank the members of La Raza who represent those kind of community and faith-based organizations involved in bettering the lives of your communities and your neighbors because it is an expression of what it means to be an American. And finally, we believe that good policy helps Americans achieve these goals while maintaining the absolute widest realm of human and individual freedom. Some of these uh, shared goals are why the President has pursued policies that many in this room have helped bring about. I want to thank the many organizations here today that helped us implement the Medicare prescription drug benefit. Latino organizations, <laughs> Latino organizations across the country helped sign up 93% of Hispanics with Medicare now having prescription drug benefit under the Medicare prescription drug program or other federal programs in large measure because you had a big heart and a lot of compassion and put a lot of energy into the effort. Our shared goals are also why this president has proposed and signed into law the No Child Left Behind, which call for high standards and a strong accountability system and extra help to make certain that every single child learns to read in this country.